You just saw the Russian leg drag in action, everybody. Hi, I'm Steve Scott, and in this video, we're going to take you step by step through how to prevent your opponent from standing up and picking you up off the mat to prevent you from applying your jujigatami. Now, what we call a Russian leg drag is really a method of controlling the opponent's leg and ankle, really, and taking him back down to the mat in order to apply a submission technique or pin. In this case, we're using jujigatami. In this video, at a recent freestyle uh, judo competition, Wyatt Suling prevented his opponent from standing him up and getting him out of jujigatami, escaping from jujigatami. Look how he hooks right there. Look how Wyatt prevented his opponent from standing up and lifting him off the mat. In a second here, he's going to take him right back down to the mat, and he almost got that jujigatami, and he keeps turning him over and over, and eventually there we have the jujigatami. So let's take a look at this. So we're, we're here again, he's in the guard, he pops one leg up, okay? I'm gonna shrimp to the side, and I'm gonna catch as deep as I can. I want it at least in the, the crook of my arm where it bends. Ideally, it should be like on your bicep. So it's a strong part of your arm and you've got a nice deep hook and he's gonna have a hard time stepping out of it. And then from there, you drag that leg up as high as you can get it. I try and put this hand like that, or raise my hand like I'm in class again. Okay, so we catch there, pop it free, he hits his hip. Now, here's where it's gonna be a little bit different. When I come up, I'm going to catch my foot right there. It looks like you're kicking him in the back of the head, but you're just kind of placing your foot right there as you roll, okay? So as I get ready to roll, I collect my hands, I turn my hips over, and this foot is going to drag his head over. We're here, collect. Why roll him over? Well, sometimes you can't get your foot all the way over. Sometimes he's falling over. Sometimes it's just not a good position that you're in. So you want to get back into that better position, which is usually the, the leg press, where I'm facing up and he's facing up. Okay? We're here again. He pops that leg up. Drag it. Shit up into his head. Hips up and roll. Now, we're going to move back here a little bit for some more space. Alright, so sometimes you lose the leg, but ideally you should try and hug both of them all the way through. It makes it a lot easier when we roll. So this time, we're going to hug nice and tight both the leg that you drag and that hand you're trying to arm on. I have a hold of it, that comes up, pop it through and see how up high I am with the lock. You can even hug like this, okay? Chin comes up, dips over, roll through, collect. It's pretty nasty that way because he's really folded in half like a sandwich or a, you know, like a, a staple shape like that. He doesn't have very much wiggle room anymore and you're literally squeezing him even more into that. Okay. Now in that one, Derek, uh, you didn't catch the head. You, yeah, you forgot the head. So really at this point, you can see you don't always have to catch that head. It's advantageous if you do. Because sometimes you can catch the roll. Do that again one more time. I know you just did that without thinking. But popped it, come there. When you get used to this a lot, you're already on that hip. So it's really just one step to get that big hip turn, collect, and then just roll. My hips or my heels were in the entire way through. He's ready to tap right in there. But we would like to put the, the instep, the top of your foot on the back of his head because that helps steer him over. Yes. If you don't do that, you can still get the move just yes. like you showed. Can you do it the way we were showing originally? And this is our more standard way of catching and rolling there. There you go. So either way works because, you know, even the head roll juju, you don't necessarily have to have your instep or the back of your 
You you the top your foot on the back of his head. However, the, 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 and I'm glad you mentioned that. But the, the important thing to remember there is is not that we're being like purists about the technique. It's when you're starting out, it's a heck of a lot easier to do it that way with the instep on the back of the head, as well as if Mike was maybe you know 30, 40 pounds heavier than me, getting him to do this, especially when I'm starting out and I don't really know this move too well, is it's going to be pretty imperative to push his head to get him to go over. Right. Right. Can you do it at normal speed? And there's the, and you, again, we, we might note you could do this no gi. We're wearing jackets and full judo gi tonight, but you could do this with no gi as well. It's just there's some sweat. So that's why if you've got an opponent who is sweaty, stay close, stay contact, make all those tight. You know, t tight, tight control points and keep them there. If, if you are doing it in a, in a no gi scenario, then again, like control is a huge, huge thing. So we're either going to be. So in this case, I might do it from a baseball bat grip, but I almost always catch it with a deep hug right there. Okay? And I'll as well block right here. I'll put my foot on the hip and I'll block in on that arm so that he's going to have a difficult time dragging his arm back. This gives me extra layers of, of protection he has to go through in order to get that arm free. Okay, if I just rely on this, he might be really slippery and he pulls it free before I even get the arm off. So I hug in nice and tight. I block it with that elbow. He puts the leg up, drag, catch, and round we go. And I might add, those are still great things you do even if you're wearing a, a jacket and a belt. Right, right. You know, you, but you, it's just keeping control and tight. You can do, as with all things in grappling, it, it, unless you're doing a gi choke, it really isn't going to make that big of a difference. The, the gi provides more sweat absorption and more friction, so it's a little bit easier to do some of them. You just have to be mindful of the, you know, the, the more slick nature, the more dynamic nature of the, the no gi. Can you do one more time no gi then? There we go. And that is the uh, what we call the Russian drag and, and head roll Juji Gatami variation of the Russian drag. Okay, thanks guys.